This is lesson D for the unit 25 bonus unit for fabulous fiddle fundamentals. And we're just going to quickly discuss the key of C major and C pentatonic. Um, it's nothing really new. I think we've covered this before in this course, but we're going to go through it again. Um, C major has how many sharps and how many flats? Zero. I, I know you got the answer right. And can you tell me what the relative minor is for C major? This would be the minor key that does not have any sharps or flats either because they share the same DNA, remember? They have the same key signature. A, you're right, A minor. So let's cover C major and it starts with third finger on the G string. That's your lowest C that we have. And with this scale, it's really no problem. You've just got some low twos. No, no big deal. Okay, let's try it. Bum, 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 about like that. Ready, set, go. Come back down. Okay, now can you remember how to make an arpeggio from that scale? You play what scale degrees to make an arpeggio? You play one, of course. Then you skip one, and you play three. Then you skip one, and you play five. Okay? And with this scale, it's really easy. Three, one, three. Try it with me, and let's play the top C as well. So we'll end up going. And that's a little bit tricky to play your third finger and then grab that low two. That's a very good skill to develop. So this is a good arpeggio for you to practice. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Let's do it again. Ready, go. Okay, and you can loop that. Practice it however you want to, but really get good at doing that third finger in low two. Okay, so that's C major. Why don't we go ahead and show you the top octave, just because we have the time. Yes, we have to stretch our fourth finger because our last note in first position is B. And we just need to go one half step further to grab that C. And it's good for our pinkies to do that. I highly encourage you to practice this top octave. Not only does it help develop your pinky, but it also gets you a little bit of practice playing that low one, that F natural on the E string. You don't have to play low one anywhere in back up and push but it is coming very soon for you where you'll have to learn how to play low ones on all the strings. So this is a really good scale to develop some new coordination skills. Let's play it together. Um, we'll do every note two times like this. Okay. You can choose whether to play open E or fourth finger on the A string. I'll let you choose that, okay? It's much harder to do fourth finger because then it's followed by that low one and it's a huge stretch. And if it's too much for you, don't do it. Don't let pride get in your way. Just play open E, <laughs> okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, and go, and. Repeat the top note. Let's do it one more time. One, two, ready, go. OK, 
Okay, do you want to know the arpeggio for that one? It's a stretchy four. And that's actually kind of advanced, but some of you are going to be able to do it. So let's go ahead and try it. Two, E, two, C. Ready, set, go. Let's try doubling the notes. Dum, bum, bum, bum. Ready, go. Okay, so that's a really good scale to help break you through into a little bit more advanced playing level. Okay, but it is optional. If you're overwhelmed, don't do it yet. Now, of course, you can glue those two octaves together. Let's go ahead and play that, and what that means is we're going to play it as a non-stop two octave scale, and we're not going to repeat our top note. Okay, let's try it. And you can practice this doubling the notes or doing whatever you want to do, but we're just going to play it single notes and do not repeat the top note. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. you to keep track of where you are, repeat your tonic every time you come to it. C, 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 except for the first one. Um, if you tend to get lost, repeating the tonic can really help you to keep track of where you are. Okay. Now, we never do our uh, scales without arpeggios, so now let's do a two octave arpeggio. You ready? Watch my fingers. Ready, set, go. One more time. Now let's just quickly review what a C major pentatonic is. Okay, it's only got five notes instead of seven. We're missing our fourth scale degree and our seventh scale degree. What that means is you're not going to have any F's or B's. Okay, so. So no first finger on the A string and no second finger on the D string. Okay, this takes a lot of practice, just like anything. Uh, let's try it. Ready, set, go. That scale is very helpful when you're trying to um, do an improv solo if you know back up and push is in C pentatonic and you can just noodle around with the C pentatonic scale and add a little bit of a swing rhythm and you're in business. So that's a very worthwhile scale to practice. I highly encourage you to spend some time on that. All right, and that's it for our scale lesson. Next lesson, we're going to talk about the chord chart that goes along with back up and push and we'll drill a few common tone fingerings. I'll see you there.